Hey there, free spirit. Are you a WordPress stalker? Do you get WordPress envy? Have you ever been to one of your favorite websites of your favorite online entrepreneur guru and be like, oh my God, I love their website so much. I wish I could have a website like that. Uh, what theme are they using? What are those plugins? Oh my God, how do they build that little widget on the side? If you've ever wondered any of those things, then don't worry, help us at hand. In under five minutes, I can show you exactly how you can know what um, little widgets and themes your favorite gurus are using for their WordPress website. Word of warning, I am not showing you how to copy someone's website. That is breaking copyright law and it's also unethical and I'm a heart-centered entrepreneur and I do not believe in copying at all. I'm just gonna show you how to figure out how, some, how you can work out what theme, what WordPress theme someone's using and what plugins they're using just so you can use the functionality of those items. You should never, ever, ever, and I repeat, ever copy someone else's website. Got it? Good. Well, let's go. Here's how, in under five minutes, to work out what WordPress theme and what plugins people are using on websites that you like. Now, let me please repeat again. This is not about copying other people's websites. I must make that explicitly clear. You should never, ever, ever copy anyone's website. Um, for one, it's unethical. Two, it could be illegal. And three, you're just going to look like a complete douche if you don't come up with your own ideas. What I am going to show you, though, is that if you come across a website and you think, God, that's exactly the kind of WordPress theme I'm looking for, or, oh my God, I need to know what plugin they're using to make that gadget do that, um, so we're looking really at functionality here. If you come up against any of those questions, then I can show you how to easily and quickly find out what WordPress theme and what um, plugins uh, a particular website is using, so then you can go and purchase those for your website. Um, you must then obviously use those items according to your own branding and style. You should never copy anyone's style or branding or anything, okay? So if I haven't laid, laid that on thick enough, let me just remind you again, you should never ever copy anyone's website, okay? So let me show you just how to find out what theme and what plugin someone is using very easily and quickly. So this is my uh, web, well, this is the website I started my first business with. I no longer own this business. Um, but this is Formula Botanica, the organic skincare school that I started uh, two years ago. And I'll show you very quickly how to um, look at what theme and plugins I use for it. And I'll show you a couple of different variations um, on two different websites so you've got a good idea of how to do this for yourself. Now, I'm using Firefox. It's the only browser I really use. So I'm not sure how you do this in other browsers. So if I was you, I'd follow along using Firefox. Um, and then you could then try and work it out how to do this in Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever browser you personally use. But I'm showing you in Firefox. Okay, and this is the brand new updated Firefox, um, which just occurred a couple of days ago, so it looks a little bit differently. You may still have the little tools icon up here on the left. Um, and if so, you can go and find out the, the stuff here. But for now, Firefox has put it here in this weird little stripey icon in the right hand side so this is like kind of like your Firefox tools menu so click that and it drops down and what we're going to go to is this spanner icon here that says developer in the older Firefox I think it just said developer tools so click that and you've got all these things we're going to go for page source and what page source is is it shows you the HTML code of the website you're looking at so just click on that and all this gobbledy comes up, okay? Don't be afraid. I'm only going to show you how to pick out what is what. So the easy way to do that is you can either scroll through. It's pretty easy to see where the theme is because it usually says theme. Um, so you can scroll down and here you go. The word theme keeps coming up here. So WordPress content themes, dandelion. So you can see that my website was built using a theme called dandelion. Okay, that is a premium theme that I think I bought from Theme Forest. <laughs> um, so you can see straight away, there it is, theme, um, the theme is dandelion. If you were having trouble finding where the bit of content showed you what theme it was, all you have to do is do, on your computer, do Control F, and this little Find button pops up, and you could put in theme 
and there you go, and it goes straight to it. So Dandelion is the theme. And if you want to find out what plugins, again, you could use the Control F and write plugin, and it'll come up, it'll start with the first plugin. Most websites are using several plugins. So you can see here, you can also just scroll down the page and look for the word plugin. You'll see here there's certain plugins. Simple Pop is the pop up. Uh, WB Courseware is um, e course software. There's things like the plugin UPME, which means you user profiles made easy, which is a kind of login um, plugin. And you can keep scrolling down and seeing what other plugins are available, or you can use your find tool and use these little arrows here, and it'll just take you down the list and show you where all the plugins are. If it doesn't glitch. <laughs> so there's all kinds of weird little ones that have been added since I had this. I'm not sure what code spacing is, but that sounds interesting. There's a cookie control one, which is a legal plugin in the EU. Um, yeah, and all sorts. So just keep going through. There's an affiliate plugin there. Facebook plugins, all sorts of plugins. So that's a really easy way. So that is under five minutes. <laughs> easy seconds it takes. I'll show you on another website, which is a bit more complicated than my old one. So. I really like Christie's website, she's the food psychologist, I think it's really awesome and bright. What I really liked about hers is that she uses loads of plugins. She's got this scrolly thing here, she's got this kind of like slideshow thing here, um, this little slideshow here. Her, I like the way the blog, the blog was laid out on the home page with these like little pictures everywhere. And I thought, oh, I wonder if that's part of the theme. It turns out it was part of the theme, because I had a go at using the theme myself, but to be honest, I didn't really get on with it, and I went on to a different theme eventually. Um, but I'm going to show you like what Christie's using. So, again, go to the little stripey icon in the right-hand side there, Developer and Page Source. And you can see that Christie is using all manner of things. So she's got sociable plugins, she's got Hybrid Connect which is the one that um, deals with signing up to newsletters, it's another one I use. Her theme is called Wild Fire and that's another theme forest theme. She's also using InstaBuilder which builds lead pages, um, sort of like within your WordPress site itself you can build sales pages. Um, that kind of like nice slideshow on the front was built using uh, Slide Deck 2. And there's loads, she's got like loads and loads of them. So what I did when I was first thinking about building my website was I went to all the websites I liked and I wrote a list of all the themes that I came across and all the plugins I came across. And then from there I went and investigated them on the internet to see how much they were and how I could use it. So say I wanted to use a wildfire theme, which Christy uses. So you go there, it is in theme forest. So you can see it's $45 to buy, and that's what it looks like normally. And then obviously, most themes come quite plain looking, and then you have to jazz them around and make them look like how you want to, which is not something I'm going to cover in this video, because we're just looking about how to understand what themes and plugins your favourite website stalky <laughs> gurus are using. Um, so, you know, just keep a list of what you found and discovered, and then go and... Uh, look at where you can buy these and start building your own WordPress site. And again, I will stress, do not copy anyone else's site. It's fine to use the web developer tool uh, to go and just find out what theme and what plugin someone is using. It's not fine to then um, have those have that website and those plugins designed to copy their website, okay? So no copying, but use the web developer tools to just uncover info that you need. Alright, I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you soon. Take care now.